Why well, I always say, you know, it's Jade's world and we're just living in it. She's full of life and is everybody's best friend. Our little social butterfly, miracle girl. Mm -hmm, absolutely. <laughs> oh, Jade. What was your favorite part of school today? Recess. What'd you do at recess? Play tag with my friends. Boys? No. A liar! <laughs> One. One boy. We were in Hawaii for a family vacation in December of 2019. And on the last morning, she woke up and had to go to the bathroom. Gets up and does her thing and I look in the toilet and there was blood in the toilet. Before we flew out, we took her to the urgent care and they diagnosed her with a um, UTI. Got her on some medication, flew home, finished that round of antibiotics and it Which, uh, worked. For all we knew, it worked. Yeah. Finally, one night, we, I was changing her into her pajamas and noticed a lump on the side of her tummy. So we took her in right away the next day and they did all the tests and scans in the ER, and the ER doctor came in and said that, that our daughter had cancer. She was diagnosed with stage four unfavorable Wilms tumor. Her whole right kidney was consumed by tumor, and then it was making its way up her vena cava, which is the major vein to your heart. And it just moved really quickly from meeting with the doctor and a million nurses and people coming in and out of the room and starting treatment essentially right away. Jade was probably the biggest trooper through this whole thing. I mean, she just, she took everything as it as it came, essentially. But she still had the spark. She was still energetic, even though you could tell that she was exhausted. Looking back, it was such a saving grace, you know, because we didn't lose that spark in her. She just stayed Jade. <laughs> yes, she did. Because the cancer was so involved in her kidney and the fact that it had moved up her vena cava to, like, literally within an inch or two of her heart. She had to have the chemo first to get it to pull back. And once that finally got to a point where it pulled back enough where her amazing surgeon was able to be comfortable with it, then that's when that's when she had her surgery and, and it was a 10 and a half hour surgery. The risks of the surgery were massive, like really extreme. I mean, her surgeon, was completely honest with us and saying that it needed to be done, but she was nervous about it. That whole experience was, that was arguably the hardest, toughest waiting that we have ever done mm -hmm. in our entire life. And we finally got word that everything went as planned. In true Jade fashion, she comes up, no ventilator. Hardly on oxygen. Hardly on oxygen. It's unbelievable. Children's Miracle Network, they do a bunch of amazing things. They're invaluable, you know, with the beads of courage. Anytime that there was a courageous moment from Jade on Jade's behalf, something that she had to get go through, get poked, you know, whatever it was, then she, she would get a bead for that. So she's got a necklace with a lot of beads on it. It was something that Jade could look forward to, something small that was actually big a big deal for her and for us. Laura with Child Life, I'll never forget her. She would come in and spend time with Jade and, and it was good for Jade to have interaction with other people aside from me, you know? They were just a welcome smile. When they come in, it's a totally different ball game, you know? It's not a nurse coming in saying that she needs another urine sample or a poke. They're often there to help them color or, or give them a toy or play with them and the little things going on behind the scenes are, are really, really big deals. In the deepest part of my heart, I knew she was. So I was already celebrating, and I don't know if that is being too confident or what, but just a big, Gosh, I don't think there's any way to describe it unless you've walked it. With Children's Miracle Network, they're solely funded by donations. We're so blessed to have Sacred Heart Children's Hospital in our backyard. To have that in our backyard, you have to have partners like 
the Children's Miracle Network, who do so many things behind the scenes. And every donation that's made, it goes to the Children's Hospital. It helps all the local families. It's not you until it is, right? It could be you. And when you want to be at an amazing hospital that can provide everything that's needed. I would personally like to give a special thanks to the Sacred Heart Children's Hospital, the Children's Miracle Network for everything that they do, Jade's oncologist and entire medical team, mm -hmm. uh, because without any of them, I, I don't know where we'd be.